shower drink. Yep, right over okay. here. Hi, Karen. Hi, Chiselle. Can I help you with your chair? No, you can't. <laughs> okay. I really want Karen and I to get to a better place. I don't care anymore about Karen's tax problems. I just want my friend back. Well, I'm, I'm happy you're here. Great. You've been looking very nice these days. I've been looking nice all my life. <clears throat> well. Good evening, ladies. Hi. Would you like a drink? You know what? I would love a club soda with lime. Thank you. OK. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what to expect from Giselle. Giselle is my friend of 12 years. This time, though, she crossed the line. Free Karen. Free Uncle Ben. Oh, Giselle, you tacky as hell. You're done. While it was disappointing and painful, it was powerful. Because I see you. I see you clearly. Well, I was wrong. Do you really feel that, Giselle? I really do. And I didn't know it was going to go so, so left. I really did. See, I thought I was being funny. I'm going to be real with you. You have a habit of, you know, spending a joke yes. at other people's expense, OK? You don't. Okay. And then you, you're like, oh, it's just fun. I'm just having fun. Well, Giselle, okay. you need to grow up. This is not OK. But you, you want to twitch your little conference. So because you called a press conference and it was kind of funny, could I have made a funny joke? With a t-shirt. You were malicious, you were hurtful, and you were absolutely wrong, and it was gutter ball trash. Karen does not feel the need to ever move forward with anybody until she has gotten everything off of her big fat chest. Oh, it's not big anymore. She took out the breast implants. Anyway, it's fine. Go ahead on, girl. Tell me how you feel. You went so low, I couldn't even get a broom to sweep you up. I love my friend named Karen. Because you do tell me where to go and how fast. You need to be told. I don't know why nobody else tell you. OK, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. She's paying for everything. <laughs> I, would, I would like this salmon. Is it very expensive? It's very expensive. Good. Let me order some more. Well, you said, you said oh, no, I'm not finished. I am going to do the calamari. Calamari. And then, what's your most expensive champagne? Use your imagination and suck it to her. <laughs> Whatever you want, Karen. Whatever you want. Honestly, I forgave you after I snatched your ass up and dragged you in the corner. You sat there and said you were my friend for hours. How dare you? So, so that's what's that funny? Y'all not worth it. OK, great. <laughs> but you in time out. Yeah. You okay. the black Barbie doll in time out. OK, OK, OK. Yeah. Ooh, I love. Oh, that looks good. Thank you. I hope it breaks your wallet. <laughs> Well, I have something to invite you to. All right, go ahead. I can invite you? Sure. So I have asked all the girls to come to my home. We're having a garden party. I am writing a book, loosely based on my life. Are you going to write about being a first lady of yes. the church? I'm drawing from some stories that have happened in and my see, life. You think people are so dumb that they're not going to know it's them that it's you're talking horrible. about. I'm not trying to talk bad about the black church. Walk lightly. I'm not here to tear down the black church. As a matter of fact, I'm powerful. But not that powerful. Who can take down the black church? Not even Jesus. Maybe Jesus. I'm going to read to you all a little bit of my book. Then I'm going to need you to help me move the ladies forward to some positivity. I'm trying to bring some function into the district. Okay. Function. When I was first lady, part of my job required me to fix the problems of the members of the church. So I feel like if I bring them all together, we can hash some things out. But I'm happy because I got my friend back. Don't rub me. Damn. Can I have a huggy food? No. <laughs> yes. Bring it in. We ain't there yet. <laughs> 